G'day, how you going? Ian Apples here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video. I'm doing a painting today. It's a live painting, but um, it's going to be a little bird. See this bird here? Now, I will put the traceable in my traceable album in the links in the description below. And what I've done, I've already done something ahead of time. I've stuck it up to the window and I've got a lead pencil, a graphite pencil, and scratched around the edge line, okay? I simply put it over where I wanted it within my painting. So I put the placement in the right spot because I know I want the sun about here. And then I just grabbed a pen, traced it out, and I got my line. Now I'm gonna bring you over to show you that. And then what I've done is I've put masking tape over the um, actual figure so I can do all my sky and everything. So what I've done, I've put the masking tape over there. I've got a sharp scalpel and just cut it out. Now you can either do it this way or you can do your background and then trace this on first, okay? I want to do it this way. So what we're gonna do is get some craft paint. Hang on a minute. I'll get this down there onto the palette. I've got my craft paint. I'm going to grab some retarder. Now what I'm doing, this is so as I can blend the background, okay? Oh, look at that, brand new bottle. And the Ateliers have a um, seal in there, I didn't know that. Oh, now I need a little pokey thing. Poke it out. I'll use the end of a brush. There we go. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Now I'll put some retarder down there, just so as I'll get beautiful blending of me orange sunsetty colours behind this bird. This little looks like a little finch to me. So I'm going to grab my little putter on a brush. And I've got a moderator in tonight, so if anything needs removing, it can be removed appropriately. There we go. Now I'm just going to paint the whole canvas here with this colour because I want to blend the whole canvas. So I'm going to paint all this on. And why I've taped up the bird shape is because I don't have to try and paint it over a retarded surface. Now, if you can blend your background however you like, I choose to do mine the way I find it comfortable and used to doing, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm just getting this all in. See how long, it doesn't take long for this brush from the hardware store to get all that paint on there. Look at that, a full A3 size canvas. 12 inches by 16 inch canvas, this is. Okay, now you can hear it biting into the tooth. I love that sound. It's the sound of something happening. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to wipe that brush so as um can get the other colours in. Now there's not much in it. It's just burn umber, yellow, orange, and a bit of white. Okay. So back here, I can't read any comments. If I get a chance to, I will. Uh, so I want... Yellow, Indian yellow. G'day Julie, Paula. I'll get my Indian yellow. I'm going to get the whole lot of it out of there. There you go. Um, and I want my red gold. Red gold. Indian yellow, red gold, and a bit of yellow ochre. Bit of yellow ochre over here. We'll put the yellow ochre. Not too much of that. The colours will be listed in the description below. Now, I'm going to start with the Indian yellow. So I'm just going to pick this up. And this is starting from the middle. So where my bird is, let me get everything over here. The main 
is behind him, okay? So how do you want to go? We wanted this pretty much all the way over here. Let's just start crisscrossing it in that area, I suppose. Getting it into there. I'm getting rid of all the blobs because this paint sometimes has blobs in it, so I'm getting rid of those. There we go. Now I'm going to use the tip of the brush and just pull it left and right that way, like so. There we go, something like that, eh? We can come all the way at the top if you want. I've got the main glow behind the little bird there. Okay, now we want to grab the... Um, red gold if you don't have a red gold use an orange and if you feel it's too orange just add a little bit of burn umber and see what flavors you're getting there okay now i want to get this right into the brush i didn't clean the brush i've just picked this up and all around this here i want don't go too much into the yellow pick up more of the red gold come over here where you want the red gold to be about there. I want a little bit of it there. This can be abstract if you want a bit underneath. See what I've done there? Dance it in however you artistically you want that to be. I'm gonna grab a blending brush. Now a lot of you will know why your first time here I put that white craft paint with the retarder in there because it's allowed that to blend. <laughs> It's coming to allow that to blend. Now I'll get a blending brush and you need a rag as well. I want to softly hit that yellow and that red gold together. So I'm stamping and blending, okay? Stamping and blending. Just, I don't want to bring too much of that red gold into that yellow window there if I can help it. Only where I, the amount I want it to be, okay? So bringing it all around. Just like that. And that white craft paint I first put on with the retarder is allowing this to blend these beautiful ways, nice and smooth. Okay. Now I hope everyone's had a lovely week. We're in the middle of the week. We are here in Australia, Perth, where it's Wednesday night here. And I like to try and get a painting done every Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Wednesday. And then you can hang around the end of the week for my Friday night live Q&A where I connect with all my subscribers and answer their questions. We're just blending this, making it look artistic. Bloody big muscly arm in the way all the time. How stupid, big arms in the way. They're so huge, my arms, they can be annoying at times, but I get by, I get by. Blending and blending. Sometimes you get a bit of an ache in your wrist. What's that called? But yeah, I get a bit of an ache in the wrist. Everything's still wet here, which we need it to be. Now, I forgot to put the um, burn umber down. So I want some of the burn umber. and the Indian yellow. So I still, once again, haven't washed, not Indian yellow, um, red gold. I'm gonna grab some of the yellow ochre and burn umber. Hang on, I really got a pain in my wrist now over that, my goodness. Let me get this into there. Well, I want that flavour actually, not the brown yet. I want that later. I want more red in there. Put a bit more there. There we go. I want that flavour. Just for the edges up here. A bit more now. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Start scooting it in there where you want it. Bring it down here where you want it. I might want to get a bit over here. 
just somewhere there, having a, a tinge, see, a bit darker. There we go. Now I'll wipe that brush. Now I will add the burn umber, picking up the burn umber. I'm letting it kiss that yellow ochre down there. Look at that, see? Everything on the canvas is still wet from the, um, what do you call it? Retarder. Now this is going up to there, coming down to here. And then we're going to pick up pure burn umber. Look how dark that is. Oh, I love it. Coming down here. We'll fix this up later. Blending brush, start with the lighter colours and we're just going to blend the transition of these colours. So I'm going to start with this area first, blend all that into that orange red gold. It's a little bit darker there, didn't quite get the colour I was after but once I add white it will start turning the lights on here. Okay, get this all up in there, blending into there now. and get this darker colour coming up there as well. Get this blended. Oh, my wrist is hurting. I've got RSI in my wrist. <laughs> yeah, that's the word I was looking for before, RSI. Now I want that burn umber even darker, it's not quite dark enough yet. Now this is canvas I'm painting on. Not a bad quality artist canvas either. Now I'm going to get a little bit of burn umber down here, a bit more. I don't want to contaminate it now with any bright colours. And I do have some black as well. Got some black there as well, a little bit of black. Now let me just wash my putter on a brush so as I can get some direct colouring there. So I want to give this brush a wash and a severe flogging so it'll be clean for the next colour. Here we go, give it a flogging. Oh yeah, done. I'm getting a darker colour here for the very bottom here. The burn umber and the black. Because it's just not quite, there we go, easy does it. Just creep that up there, I'm stamping it on. Get up some more and it's quite dark here. Because as I blend it up, it'll fade a bit as well. All right, I'll blend that now. There we go. I like to twist the brushes I'm blending, give it turmoil and all different types of movement and behaviour within the blended paint. There we go. Now this corner is still not dark enough. How's it looking on the camera there? So, so. So. I'll just wipe the brush. There we go. That's okay, we don't want it too dark because then I won't be able to put the darker leaves on it. Now I'm grabbing the titanium white. That can go in the bucket of water there. I think I'm finished with that one as well. I'm grabbing titanium white. Now watch what I do in the middle to get the sun glare, okay? Just some simple titanium white and a fan brush. I use me, uh, me hog bristle. That one will do. Where's my other one? Me? There it is. 
titanium white on the fan brush. Start from the middle where you want your glare to be. Now I want mine probably just a bit north of his head, so it's going to start in the middle and you just push it on and then start coming one direction and it'll slowly fade as it comes out there, okay? I've done this style a few times in paintings. I need a cleaner blending brush. And we're gonna just sit that down, twist it and manipulate it. Start from the lighter color. And once you've done the light and you've entered the darker color, don't go back into the lighter color here. Stay moving this way. Otherwise I can bring this heavier down there and you don't want to do that, it'll make you go, oh no, what have I done? You know, so this is adding more. Now wipe that more um, flavour and value to your painting. Now the brush, filthy dirty, give it a wash and dampen it in a towel so it's not watery, make the paint watery and start again in the middle. So I'm going to probably try and get a few fingers starting there and then come along, make these reasonably thick so you've got something to blend out. So I'm sort of coming like this, on the, not a, just a skinny line, and here. And the further I come out, the more it's going to um, reduce its glare. And you could probably, if you want, just for the art's sake, put something all the way up that high. I'm going to start from here again. I've wiped this blending brush, adding turmoil. Uh, turmoil, I want some brighter values and duller values within there. This just adds a beautiful point of impact of light coming from the middle and it's going to add a beautiful background for this little bird silhouette. Okay, careful to bring those darker colours, not to bring those darker colours back down there. I've got a few tubs of water, it pays to, like I'm cleaning this white brush in its own tub of water, not the messy muddy water I've got already where it's going to contaminate. Now I want to come along here and come up here now, from there. I'm just jingle jangling it any old way, creating luster within that paint, all the way up there. Evening, good evening, Susan Turtle, hello Susan Turtle. How are you? Hello, Jeff. How are you, mate? Okay, all the way up there. And see, when I'm finished, I know I can paint me little finch. Whether it uh, looks like a finch, I'll have to see what sort of bird it is, but I don't really know at this stage. Just getting more paint on the um, canvas. Still doing the Mr. Mum thing here, Angela. There you go, I'm Barry. Now let's get some more glaring out here. From the middle, you cut that, that way you keep in the middle all bright and then you slowly come out. And like I said, in this sort of movement, so I'm there, I'm coming up, coming down, but still coming out as well. There we go, stop about there. And again, it's just repetitive. I'm gonna add turmoil within that so it, just adds a lot of brilliant luster behind this silhouette once we start painting that silhouette in there. I mean, you can do a near perfect sun glare in the sky if you want. I just like doing these, I think they're great. And I'm pretty sure it's sort of a mix between clouds and a glare. Now I'm just glaring this up a bit more here. Wipe the brush, move some of that where I want. There we go. And now I'll just wash the brush and this will be the last pass. Okay. Thank goodness for that. We get to the last pass. So I'm just loading that brush up again. And there's our bird. Where are we, Mr. Bird? So it's all here. We're coming and it's gonna participate down to about here. Not too far. That's it. That is it. We can probably bring something over there just for the sake of it. There we go. Done. 
turmoil this, clear it up. Now see, if I didn't tape up that area where I'm going to put the bird, I can't do it for my filming purposes. If I'm at home doing it, I could have painted this first and wait the next day and then trace out the layout, the silhouette of the bird. But because I'm filming, I've got to do it a bit smarter and quicker ways. Okay, so I'm doing it this way. That way I can give it a quick blow dry around there. When I peel the tape off, I can paint the silhouette onto some raw canvas instead of rubbery um, stuff. Now while we're going, I'm going to grab another scratchy brush and I'm going to grab some of, I'll get some water on there, some of this darker black with the brown just before I start to dry it because we need some faded bits here and there as well. Some of the, hang on a minute, I better, I'm getting some of this lighter burn umber. I can put some white in there just to get it lighter. How's that? Not too bad. I might have to dry it for this. I want to get some, I'm going to make scratchy, but try and get neat um, movements. Like, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I'm going to get some longer ones in there. Can you see all of that? You can, yes. I want something coming up here off the painting and into the painting. Uh, something coming over here, maybe off the painting and into the painting, yes. Uh, something over here, off the painting and into the painting, yeah. It's, this is this will be, well, kind of abstracty. Now I'm gonna wash the brush down, wipe it, and pick up some of the darker value of that now. I'm just using a fan brush, because a fan brush, they're not bad, you can get some pretty good lines if you want some good abstracty lines. And we're just putting the pretty much blurry stuff in the background. Okay, whoops, picked up the wrong paint there. We can probably get one coming over here somewhere. I love the way they're just scratching in there, they're nice. I'm going to grab, I'm going to wipe some of that, grab some of this Indian yellow that I've still got left there and get like a different value if I can. Is that going to do it? That's kind of going to do it. It's sort of, I want to grab him and get him right up here somewhere. Something just straight up there, bang, look at that. Hey, it's putting something in the middle there as well. It's not lonely up there. Wash the brush, wipe it. Now we're grabbing the darker colour on its own to get the sharper ones. A lot of them are blurred in the background, abstractingly abstracted. And now we'll get a nice one coming up here. Something nice and sharp. I want that dark. I don't want it. There we go. Nice and dark. How's that for a bravery test, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Get something up here as well. Get some more darker ones here and some grass. This looks probably a bit nonsensey, but when the um bird goes on there, it'll come into play. Okay, we'll get a nice sharp one about here somewhere. See, I could have, should have dried it so as um, they won't wash away a bit. Okay, that'll do for now. I'm going to grab a pointy knife, because you do need a bit of a pointy knife, hopefully. Um, that one's not too pointy. 
where's all your knives then? That's one thing I didn't get prepared. Here it is there. It was my knives. I tried to get everything prepared. But sometimes we do forget. All right, I don't know. I'll use this one. This will be more sharper. And What I'll do before I do that, I'm just going to dry it. Let's bring you in. You love the heat, do you, Elaine? You did tell me how to pronounce your name and I hope I remembered it because I probably forgot again. Now, here we go. We're just taking that off and I'm going to dry it again because the edge of that is very dark. I mean, not dark, it's wet. And I want to get the silhouette on with its own merit. I don't want it getting hindered by any of that paint. Okay, now I'm going to grab me um, detailing brushes. I'm just looking for some. Why don't you just come over with me? That's what tutorials are all about, aren't they? Let's see what we've got here. I've got two jars, me tall and short ones, okay? I'm look, looking for a brush to get some um, blocking in done for the little for the little guy, something that's sharp and that's one thing I've got to get is some really good quality little detail brushes because I don't really have many here and the ones I've got, they're all feathered out on the ends like nonsense. All right, that'll do. Did um, Reese have any in his side over here? I'm just looking, 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 but I can't. So I've got a bit of a pointy round there. Hopefully this one might be able to do something as well. Now, the silhouette is going to be black, but I've got the black here again. I'll grab that. And the burnt umber. So I want it black, but you can almost see the burnt umber, or it's burnt umber, but it's not, it's very dark. So it's pretty burn umbery. It's not pure black and it's not pure burn umber. It's in between. It's just a dark chocolatey bloody colour. <laughs> I'll just wipe that out the way now so it's done. Now we've got to wet that. You want your paint reasonably damp. Not too damp though. Judge how much dampness you need within it. And we're going to paint the little guy in. So what I'll do, I'll try this brush first, but I'm not that keen on these ones, but I'll give it a go. And that grass is pretty much all the way here. I'm gonna twist this as I go to keep the edges sharp. But I've got a lot of goobly gloops all over it. There we go, all the way up there, all the way up there. Go on, get up there, that's it. It's, in a, it's getting a bit thicker as I go up there. Yonder, beautiful. That's sitting on the um, canvas. It's nicely, it's nice to paint. I'll get this all along the edge there if I can. Beautiful. Now this paint, if anything, is a little bit on the damp, I mean the watery side, because I could see a little bit through it. So I've got to make sure I mix it a bit better as I'm picking, as I'm loading it onto the brush and um, getting rid of the um, little see through bits. I'm just doing fingers of a claw there in the silhouette and there is a little claw hooking around here I always get opaque and translucent mixed up when I've got to say translucent I should be saying opaque and when I want to say opaque I sometimes say translucent now translucent means it's very thick Sorry, see I still got it wrong. 
translucent means it's kind of thin see through -y. trans you can look through it opaque means it's thick you always get them wrong like my michaels and michelle's actually this brush is pretty much doing the whole lot so far i'm quite happy about that boom i will once i'm finished see how translucent that is there it's too watery I've got to mix it a bit thicker. Um, I'll have a look at it and detail it, finesse it. So that's why it always pays to practice things. How you're going to practice a silhouette? Grab yourself a simple bright background, and grab a silhouette of your hand or your side profile or your face, anything, and practice how you can block in a silhouette what brush is going to work for you. So when you come to that procedure in an arts, in a painting, in one of your art projects, you know exactly what you're doing. You're seasoning yourself. It's always good to season yourself with what you're doing. This is very translucent here. I will thicken it up a bit when it dries. Now yeah, we've got that down there. Well, I've pretty much did the whole bodiment of that silhouette with the one brush, so that was fine. I got half a dozen brushes out. There we go. And if it's your first time here for the live show, say who you are and where you're from. Don't be shy. Now, I want to grab that same paint, but I've got to put too much water. I'll try and mix it up. I want to get some darker grass just coming up and maybe behind him there, just like that. But I'll get this bit solid. And for the art's sake, come wider at the bottom. There is a lot that needs to go on down here. Where else are we? I wanted to get something more darker. I'll tell you what, my camera has trouble getting to the top of things, doesn't it? You're in lockdown, are you there, Karen Moss? Melbourne, Australia, beautiful city. It's a shame they're all locked down. Because I want this one in focus. That's why I'm going over this one again. And the back sunset gives a beautiful backdrop for all these colours. Dark black chocolatey so and so's. Oh golly. Don't want to move that, so what I'll do is I'll just bring a, another one through there. Just to hide that mistake. just because I made a boo-boo. Where else are we? That one's supposed to be. <laughs> I'll get you back here and have a better look at that. Just darkening this one up because it needs to be in a bit more focus than what it is. the painting. And 
need some other darker ones here. been 40 minutes and I'm just about done that's been good I like to keep my tutorials within an hour all right just sit in that paint there we go on there that's it um, let me come over here. Where are we? Uh, I want to grab my, there it is down here. I'm going to grab the white if I can. Is that titanium? Oh, I wasted a bit there, didn't I? I'm just grabbing some titanium white with a bit of the um, burn umber down here. And I'm going to put a big white dot on the bird's face for an eye. Oh yes, please. I'm going to put a big white dot in that bird's face for his eye. You watch this. I'm going to put a big white... No, I'm not going to do my autograph. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? All right, so let's get this inky consistency here. And just remember, all my tutorials, even this one, they're available to buy. Check out the links in the description below. Message me on Facebook if you want to purchase a painting. And if you want to join my art group or become a Facebook friend, message me on Facebook and tell me you met me on YouTube. That way I know you're not a robot. Oh, this paint's still a little bit wet. It's making me signature here a little bit difficult, but we'll get there. Sometimes you could do a really great one and sometimes you do real stupid ones. Now, a painting like this can pretty much hold itself on its own when it's painted on a block. This is on canvas, but we'll still whack a frame on it and just see how she looks. Okay, so I'll zoom back there a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's not too shabby now, is it, eh? We've got a little bird in the grass and bang, looking right through there is the sunset coming down. You could have put clouds or anything in that, but it's a beautiful looking art piece. And that is a great piece a beginner can learn. Change your colours up, make it your own. But just remember, you can do that, okay? Absolutely you can. I'll be live Friday night, Australia time, 8pm, Perth, Western Australia time. And that's my Q&A, uh, Friday night live Q&A on my YouTube channel here. That's where I connect with my subscribers, my audience, the people that follow me and enjoy what I'm doing. It's where we connect, ask answer, ask questions, and I answer them the best of my ability. I don't know the answer to all of them, but I do my best. All right? All right, so if you like what I'm doing, you make sure you tell your friends, okay? But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on you.